What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a super easy and efficient automatic Minecraft Bedrock chicken farm. This will work on 1.16 and on all platforms of Minecraft Bedrock, whether you find a phone, tablet, Xbox, PS4, Nintendo Switch, or PC. As you guys can see here, you should be able to use the chicken farm to get a ton of feathers and cooked chicken. For this farm, all you'll need is one chest, 30 solid blocks. You guys can use any solid blocks that you want, as long as they don't catch on fire. One redstone comparator, one piece of redstone. Two dispensers, two observers, two hoppers, one micro with a hopper, one rail, four ladders, one wall, four slabs, six pieces of glass, one button, and one lava bucket. The first step is to take a chest and place it down. Then you're going to want to crouch down and place a hopper that is funneling towards the chest. Then you're going to come on top, crouch down, and place a rail. Then place a micro with a hopper right on top. This system will collect all the drops. Now you're going to take some solid blocks, they can be any solid blocks that you want as long as they don't catch on fire, and place down three. Then break these two blocks over here. Now just enclose the minecart with the hopper, that way it doesn't move. Then you're going to place some more blocks on top. By the way, the drops will get absorbed through this block. Then you're going to take some more solid blocks, place three over here. Then place another three over here. Now you're going to take a ladder and just build up. This will allow you to access this part of your farm. After doing this, you're going to come up here, then place a dispenser, make sure it's facing this way. Then come over here and place another dispenser. This time it should be facing this way. Then place a temporary block over here, then place an observer, just like this. Then you can break the temporary block. Make sure that this face of the observer is facing outwards. Then you're going to place a button onto the observer and click it once. Then you're going to place a lava bucket inside here, and then you can click it again just to test it. What should happen is, lava should come out and get sucked back in. This will be what cooks the chicken. The next step is to take a cobblestone wall or any other type of wall you want, and just place one over here. Then you're going to take some solid blocks, place two over here, and two over here. Then place one over here and one over here. After that, you're going to take some glass, place two glass blocks over here. This will keep the chickens in the area. By the way, there's a gap over here so that just in case you don't want to wait for the baby chickens to grow up, you have the option to feed them. The next step is to come over here, crouch down, and then place a hopper. Make sure it's funneling towards the dispenser. Then take some glass blocks, place one over here, one over here, then just place a temporary block over here, and place a glass block over here. Then you can break the temporary block. Then you can come behind and do the same thing. After placing your four glass blocks like this, you're going to take some slabs and just place one slab on top of each glass block. This will prevent any of the chickens from escaping. The next step is to come back here, crouch down, and then place an observer. Make sure the eye is facing downwards. Then you're going to place a redstone comparator over here. Make sure that when you place it, it's like this. So these two prongs should be facing towards the hopper, and this part over here should be facing outwards towards that way. Now, make sure you click it once. That way, this light comes on. Then, once that light comes on and you finish making this little part, place a solid block over here, and then place a piece of redstone. It's really important that you guys do all this redstone correctly. How the system works is when eggs come into here, then they automatically get shot out down there. Eggs will not spawn baby chickens every time, however, they should spawn some of the time. The next step is to get some chickens and lure them up into this area. If you're in survival mode, there are two ways that I recommend that you do this. One way would be to place some solid blocks over here, just temporarily, and then take some eggs and just throw them into the chamber. That way the chickens won't escape when they're spawned in. Another easy way to lure chickens up here if you're in survival mode is to break the slab just temporarily and replace it with a block, then place down a button. The chickens will think the button is full block, so they'll walk straight off into here. Also, place a temporary block over here. Then, create a little staircase, just like this. Once you have done this, you're going to take some seeds and find some chickens. The chickens should be attracted to the seeds. Then, just walk up the staircase. The chickens should follow you. Then, once they come up, go over to this part. And they should walk off right off into the farm. You might need to push them, but it should be a lot easier to get them in because you have the button there. Once you've done this, you can just break any temporary blocks that you placed, replace the slab, and break the staircase. As you guys can see there, eventually the eggs should spawn in a baby chicken. Once the baby chicken has come down into this chamber, you can wait for it to grow up, or if you don't want to wait for it, you can feed it with seeds. This will speed up the growth process. Then you can hit this button. It would automatically cook and 
By the way, guys, if you leave this farm for a long time, then the baby chickens in the bottom chamber will turn into adults and start laying eggs. If that happens, you can actually take the eggs from over here, come up here, and just throw them into this chamber. That way, you can get even more chicken. The more chickens you have on the top layer, the more efficient this farm will be. I hope you all enjoyed learning how to make this simple and efficient automatic Minecraft Bedrock Chicken Farm. Let me know if you have any questions. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. I upload every day. Thanks for watching.